What is going on everyone, it's Andy Yashers here. What we're going over today is a fell stacking guide. We're going to be going over two different ways that you can build your fell stacks. The first method we're going to go over is using Reblaff. The pros of using Reblaff would be that it's very easy to set up as well as it costs next to nothing to repair. The biggest con when upgrading with Reblaff is you'll never get a return on all the stones you put into the fell stack. The other method we're going to be using is upgrading Ultimate Room. The main reason you would go this route is because you want to get as much return on your fell stacking as possible. Fell stacking with Ultimate Grunel, you'll eventually be able to resell it with ease. The cons with this setup is it's going to take you much longer for you to set up as well as it's going to cost you Grunel armor whenever you're repairing. You might want to look into manufacturing Grunel gear just to counteract this cost. Okay, so let's look at what we need to do to be able to generate fell stacks using Reblast. Our first step is going to be getting negative karma on an alt of ours. An easy way of doing so is just getting on a low level and killing a horse. This is going to reduce its karma and once you're below negative, guards in town will attack you. Each kill on a horse is going to reduce your karma by 500. And now that it has negative karma, whenever you're in town, guards can attack you. This is going to be important because if you die while having negative karma, your items that you're wearing can downgrade. We want this to be a thing because if you ever successfully upgrade your item to plus 15, we're going to intentionally downgrade it back to plus 14. Going from plus 14 to plus 15 is supposed to be one of the hardest upgrades in the game, and we're using this to build our stacks with Reblath. Buying Reblath is nice and simple, all you have to do is head over to the blacksmith in Vilya. They'll sell you Reblath armor very cheaply here. So to summarize it, we're buying Reblath very cheaply, you're using the Reblath to repair whenever you have to repair, you're using a negative karma alt to downgrade your gear if you ever get it to plus 15, and other than that you're just smashing the shit out of a plus 14, trying to get as many stacks as possible. And that's the gist of using Reblath. So our first step to setting up the Ultimate Grunel method will be obtaining Ultimate Grunel armor. What we're going to do is head over to the marketplace and we're going to buy Ultimate Grunel Armor at its base. So just look up Ultimate Grunel Armor and we got a pair right here for 1.2 mil of Ultimate Grunel gloves. Basically as people craft these, they end up posting them to market for whatever reason. You can sort it by price to get the plus zeros right away. As you can see, they're going to be roughly 1.2 to 1.5 mil each. If you need, you can just set notices on these, and if you do so, whenever you, one of these are posted to the market, there will be a notice down here in the corner, and that item will then be on the market within the next 10 to 15 minutes. Your goal is going to be getting a bunch of Ultimate Grunel gear and just getting a bunch of pieces so you have a lot to work with. As you can see right here, I got roughly 30 or so pieces to use. It's also worth pointing out that right away you're not going to have a bunch of different pluses to work with like I do, but you're eventually going to end up getting there. We'll explain this further along. Keep in mind the reason we're actually using Ultimate Grunel is if our upgrade is successful and we lose our stacks, we're making money in the end. I usually like to sell it off once it hits duo or try for a nice 50 to 90 mil gain. Okay, so we're here with a fresh zero stack and we have our ultimate Grunel ready to go. So we actually have to go over how we're going to build these stacks. This is going to get a bit more complicated than the Reblath because you're not just smashing it. You're actually going to be stopping at certain points. So how do we know our stopping points? Well, we're going to be using the game itself to tell us that. So for example, we're going to throw in this plus 7 helmet. It tells us it's going to take 4 stones to force it. Now we're not forcing our gear, we're obviously trying to build stacks, but we're going to be using this number right here. I would use this helmet to go up to about plus 3. If we look at a plus 9, it takes 7 stones to force it so what we're gonna do is push it about five to five right there we would stop at five fells if you're using this plus ten I would stop at about seven since it takes nine to force and you basically get the idea as the plus goes higher these are plus twelve it takes seventeen to force I usually go to about twelve stacks on this 
basically you're using less stacks than what it takes to force trying to conserve your stack without blowing it up. Now when you're first starting out you should have a bunch of, of plus fives. If you have plus fives you see it only takes two to force it. So what I would do is try to push this to a three stack. And as you can see it already plused so I would move to the next plus five see if I can push that to a three stack. And that went up right away. Now we still don't have much to work with. This is only going to be good for a very small stack. So since it takes three, we're going to try to get to four. Obviously we failed again. So we're going to go to the other pair plus sixes that we have now. And forcing it takes three. We're going to see if we can build a four stack. And of course we can't. This is actually killing my video. But uh, let's keep going. They're plus seven now and it takes four stacks to force it. We're gonna try to go to four stacks. Two, three, four. All right, so we got four stacks. We're already at what it takes to force it. How would we push the stack higher if we don't have anything else to go to? Our solution is to switch characters. Switch characters and start over. Eventually one of them's gonna hit this. It's gonna go plus eight and then you're gonna be able to build higher stacks. You can then come back to these characters if you need to. Okay, so now I'm going to show you me building a couple stacks as if you have your stuff set up like this. So we have our four stack already. We're slowly going to work on higher pluses. This one can go to seven to four, so we're going to try to push to five there. We're going to then switch out for a plus ten. We're going to try to push this to a seven stack. We got that. Now we're going to go to a plus 11. We're going to try to go to 9 stacks on this. Alright, let's put our plus 12 in there. It takes 17 to force. I'm going to try to get to 12 off of this. We got our 12 stack. Now we're going to throw, throw in a plus 13. This takes 23 to force. I'm willing to go to about 15 on this. Now, this is where you can kind of choose where you're going to go. It's going to take 23 to force. I usually go anywhere from plus 15 to plus 18. I'll go 18 on this. Alright, and for the sake of the video, we'll see if we can push to 25 off of this plus 14. Usually around here is whenever I would do duo attempts if I really want to push a stat. but. As you can see, we easily built a 25 stack on this. Keep in mind we're using Ultimate Grunel because if this happened to roll over and go plus 15, we then have an item worth 22 mil and we could easily make it pry and then end up making it duo fell stacking the same way and it would then be over 50 mil to sell this item. Using Reblath, you never get any income back. Using this method, you get a nice 50 mil payday at some point. One of your downsides to keep in mind of this method is the cost for repairing. You're going to have to use Grunel gear to repair, and this can be a bit expensive. You can nullify this by crafting the Grunel yourself. It's a great way to end up using what you're crafting and be able to get those fill stacks while getting some profit in return. Alright guys, so there's two different ways to build fill stacks. You can choose whichever one you would prefer doing, you can weigh the pros and cons of each, it's going to be up to you what you decide to do in your playstyle. If you end up choosing the Ultimate Grunel method, I'll put down below in the description what stacks I stop at for each plus on Grunel. So I hope this guide has helped you out in some way. If you still have any questions that weren't quite answered in the video, feel free to contact me and I'll be more than happy to help you out. You can contact me by leaving a comment down below. You can join my Discord and hit us up there, or you can join me during my live streams. Thanks again for checking the guide out. You all take care and have a wonderful day.